today we're fishing for walleye, yellow perch, maybe even a pike or a burbot. We've actually caught a few suckers here the last uh, over the last few days. So basically, been using uh, jigging wraps um, and then tipped with a little bit of night crawler. So this pattern right here seems to be pretty effective recently. So I'm gonna stick with what's been working. It's a pretty nice day today. It's up around five degrees above freezing. Doing okay. The piece is probably inch and a half or so long. And then with your jigging wrap, I usually like to put the worm through a couple of the hooks if I can. And there you go. We are ready to roll. First thing I'm going to do is drop this flasher down the hole. Oh, you got one showing up here already. Just saw a little flicker on the flasher here. Yeah, so the jigging wrap is pretty active down there, so I usually like to rip it three or four times and then kind of let it sit still and just kind of tap it on the spot. Seems to work pretty decent for walleye. So this is a scale here starting at zero down to 16. So we're just over 16 feet deep here. This is my lure here right around 15 and a half. And so this works pretty well. It's a really useful tool to, to gauge the fish and how they're reacting to your lures and how you're presenting your lure. So it's a pretty good tool. We'll check a couple of these other holes I drilled and see if we can find something. Look at that, it's hooked up. As soon as I dropped it down. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Scrappy fella. Oh, look at that. Baby bike. There you go. First fish. Probably a 14 or 15 inch northern pike. Back to the hole. After catching a fish, I'll like to pull some line like that and just check your drag. Yeah, bike hit pretty fast, didn't have to do much. You leaning on me, you goofball. Goofball. Alright, new hole here. The third one. Let's see if we can catch a fish out of this one. Oh, there's a fish. Flicker. He's coming in. Here he is. He's all over me. He's staring it down. Back to the bottom. So you saw that line. There's my lure here, and he was right there. Hey, girl. Well, it's been a bit of a tough go so far, only that one small northern pike, so we're gonna keep on going here. Hope we can catch something. What's up, Nova? What you doing? What's happening? Oh, another pike. Look at that. 
spot. There you have it. Pretty nice little pike. I think we'll keep this guy for the freezer. Ready, Nova? Do you like him? Let's drop this hook back down and see if we can catch another one. Oh, here's one coming up. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Please, please, please. Come on. Yes, finally. I think it's pretty small. Pike, look at that. I can't believe the pike was that fussy. Just did not want to bite. This fish here would just not leave me alone. It was just all over the lure, up and down. Pretty sweet. Come on. Oh, he nibbled it. Now he's mad. I don't think I stung him. It's right there. Come on. Oh, sure enough. Piece of worm. See that right there. Hoping this will do the trick. Wait, the puppy, back up. This is serious business. Serious business. He's on me. Oh yes. <laughs> Got to be a perch. Uh oh. No, I lost him. I lost him at the hole. <laughs> There's another one down there. Okay, right, here we go. Oh, that stings. As soon as, I think he got stuck in the hole and then kind of got caught on the side of the hole too, so. It's right there again. Yes. Finally! Oh, ho, ho, ho. long enough. A walleye. Fussy walleye. I've been after this fish for so long. <laughs> Finally caught him. Look at that. Hook right down the hatch. Let's pop this guy right off here. Look at that. Still got my bait. There's more down there. Oh, was that ever a gentle take though. Sit, stay. That fish though just barely picked it up in his mouth. And he was just chasing me all over the place. Yes! <laughs> no worm that time. Good pull on this one. Another walleye. Stop flopping. Perfect walleye. Didn't have a worm on that time and he just crushed it. Just about a twin to that other one I caught. Well, there you have it. Those are the two walleyes so far. Real, real pretty fish. Super tasty. Another hole now, I just dropped my lure down and there's a fish there, so I'm gonna try to catch this guy too. Fish is right there. <laughs> I gotta put you in a headlock. <laughs> I can't get this fish if you're gonna thrash around. Oh my goodness, you put your flag, don't you? Oh, here he is. Yep. There we go. Fish are active. I am down at 14, 15. Please come back. Let's 
see. There we go. He's back. He's right on me. Come on. Come on. Boy number three. Please, please, please. Lift him up. Lift him up. Yeah! Hook set. Fish on. We got here. It's a wise. Wee! Yeah, I'll throw this guy back. There we go. Fish right there. And send him back. Bye bye. Hey, see, it's so good today. For the most part. <laughs> Been in the way a lot though. Oh, he's a crazy puppy. Let's see if we can get you one more. One more, a little bigger. Awesome, awesome fish. An awesome day overall. Some really good fishing action. Some of these fish were pretty aggressive, like this last one, I was still sinking it down and he, and he nailed it. Got that jigging wrap hanging out the corner there. Perfect. There we go. Got three nice walleye. Actually, you caught four walleye. Threw one back, kept my limit of three. And also caught three northern pike and threw one of those back. Sometimes the fish are just not really all that aggressive. And so having that flasher to be able to see what the fish are doing with your lure is a big help for sure. So pretty awesome. John. Oh. Big one, eh? Yep. So big. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You got a sucker. Probably a pike. Oh yeah, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is that? There you go, ugly sucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big boy. It's funny though how sometimes like these kind of zero degree windy days like feel worse than like a minus 10. I know, minus yeah. Minus 15 even, you know, like. Well, because you don't dress for it. Like if, exactly. I, if it was 10 below, yeah. we would dress warmer, you know? Yeah. All right. That what is it? Oh, pulling That's line. a big guy. Ooh. Whew. Mike. I can see him down there. You need a horse and boat when she's in. You saw it's a Maybe pike? Too, yeah. Oh, there he comes. Oh, yeah. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, 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 oh. oh on, man. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> look here, <Dude>. look here. <laughs> That's a nice one, eh? Sweet. Beauty. That's a lot of meat. The biggest pike I got in a while. That's Halfway a down, eh? Size. Yeah, as it was falling, he came in and smoked it. Sweet. There's my little pike I just got. Beauty. Last hole, last couple minutes before we're gonna leave, and he <laughs> came in about halfway down and nailed it. Yeah, push him up nice and straight. Look at the colors, eh? Just the coolest. Nice vibrant spots. Now Jimmy, I'm going to show you how I turn. kill a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Four and a half pounds. 
Yeah. Biggest fish this year for me. 30, what, 32? 32 inches. Nice. To the pinch of the tail. Pinch tail, yeah, that's the proper way to measure, I'd say. I think so. I think that fork tail thing is kind of dumb. That's like somebody saying, oh, I'm five feet tall to my knees. <laughs> you don't stand on your knees, right? <laughs> my one perch, one pike, <laughs> one sucker. No walleye, that's, an, that's unusual. Yeah. I'm and I got nothing, I'm gonna go to no frills and <laughs> grab a fish there. Okay, that works. <laughs> gonna be a wrap for this ice fishing video thank you so much for watching check out this nice evening we got here nice sunset beautiful day spring is coming we'll see you next time